Good evening. It is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the Fulbright Association Board and membership to welcome you to the 20th Fulbright Prize Ceremony. I can't tell you how good it is to see people in person for a change. I'm so glad that those of you who are here in the room escaped from your little Zoom boxes. <laughs> and for all of you online, hello, and thank you for joining us. I hope to see you in person soon, hopefully at our annual conference. The Fulbright Association is the American alumni organization for the Fulbright program. Our vision is to be a catalyst for a peaceful, an interconnected world. As John Hope Franklin, the famous historian, Fulbrighter, and Lifetime Achievement Award winner said, quote, I have been a student and an advocate of the view that the exchange of ideas is healthier and more constructive than the exchange of bullets, unquote. In that spirit, please join me in a moment of silence for people in Ukraine, and for all of those people who live in places where there is conflict and violence, but long for peace for themselves and their families. As many of you know, the Fulbright program was initiated in 1946 and just celebrated its 75th anniversary. The program has more than 400,000 alumni around the world. Our U.S. Association is nearly 10,000 strong with 55 chapters that continue to promote scholarship, collaborative engagement, and cultural diplomacy throughout the global community. Your attendance this evening, your sponsorships and donations support our missions of education, advocacy, and service, and we are very grateful for your generosity. The association's community programs, like Fulbright in the Classroom, expose young people from kindergarten through college to the Fulbright experience and our focus on international exchange. The mentoring program we are implementing will further support the personal and professional growth of returning Fulbrighters and young professionals. The Fulbright Forum is an online program that focuses on international issues and features extraordinary speakers from around the world and our annual conference is a platform to share ideas and celebrate our diversity. We have an active board of directors with members from Texas to Taiwan. Would the board members who have traveled to be with us this evening please stand? <clears throat> As you can tell by the success of this event, we also have a strong administrative team. Will the members of our administrative team please stand? <laughs> These are the people, along with the chapter leaders and volunteers nationwide, who make our variety of programs so successful. Programs that reach into the community, educate and mentor young people, provide Fulbright experiences through our travel program, and help develop more citizen diplomats. We Fulbright alums are all committed advocates for the Fulbright program and its funding, both in Congress and generally, since we personally know the benefits of the program. We have several members of Congress joining us this evening. We are grateful for your support and attendance tonight. 
Would you please stand and be recognized as I call your names and remain standing until all members have been introduced. We are asking the audience to hold your applause until I have introduced all members of Congress if you want to eat tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> Senator Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> Senator Patrick Leahy. Senator John Thune, Senator Mark Warner, Representative Rose DeLauro, Representative John Garamendi, Representative Josh Gottheimer, Representative Kay Granger, Representative French Hill, Representative Barbara Lee, Representative Michael McCall, Representative Dean Phillips, Representative Jamie Raskin, Representative Hal Rogers, Representative Steve Scalise. <laughs> um, Senators Chris Coons. <laughs> I'm just looking down. I, I can see the front row. That's it. <laughs> and, and Senator Ben Sass and Representative John Sarbanes, a Fulbright alumni, joined us earlier, and we thank them. In addition, we have members of the administration whom we also ask to stand. Please hold your applause until I have introduced the members of the administration present. There are only three, so you don't have to hold it that long. <laughs> Ethan Rosenswag, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State. Dr. Anthony Fauci, Chief Medical Advisor. <laughs> Vincent Pickett, Branch Chief, Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs at the State Department. Thank you so much for being here. We are honored to have ambassadors and other diplomatic representatives from the embassies of Albania, the Czech Republic, Ecuador, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Jordan, Mexico, Norway, Nigeria, Pakistan, Senegal, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, United Kingdom, Uruguay, whose ambassador and his wife are both Fulbrighters, and of course, Ireland. Thank you for joining us and for partnering with the Fulbright Program. The first Fulbright Prize for International Understanding was awarded in October of 1993 to Nelson Mandela, who said at that time, quote, this prize, this award, is a source of inspiration, not only to an individual, but to the men and women right across the length and breadth of our country who decided to fight back. And to you, part of that family, those men and women who have chosen the world to be the theater of your efforts." Unquote. And that is what Fulbrighters and our laureate this evening have done, chosen the world to be the theater of our efforts. We are sincerely appreciative of the work of Mary Ellen Schmieder, David Bradley, and the members of the Fulbright Prize Selection Committee that they co-chaired. Now, unlike with many award shows, you all know who our recipient is. 
one of those people who is known worldwide by one name, Bono. I got to know how Bono and U2 affected people in October of 1987 when they played Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My daughter, a big U2 fan, and a sophomore in high school at that time, convinced me to stand in a line at five in the morning <laughs> to get tickets for her and her friends. <laughs> Last December, my husband and I were in Cleveland, Ohio on business and decided to visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I sang with Sam Cooke and Otis Redding and rocked with Elvis and Janis Joplin, but I only stopped to pose in front of the Bono in the U2 display. <laughs> what impressed me most was this statement within the description of the band. Rather than focusing on how Bono and U2 inspired people through their music, the inscription focused on Bono's deep commitment to addressing the global AIDS crisis. It read, in 1999, Bono shifted his focus from music into social politics. He became a media fixture as he made his way around the globe and met with world leaders. By the end of 2002, the escalating AIDS crisis in Africa had become Bono's major focus. Bono will donate the monetary prize of $50,000 to the organizations he co-founded, won, and read. One has been described as a global movement campaigning to end extreme poverty and preventable disease so that everyone, everywhere, can lead a life of dignity and opportunity. Red partners with the world's most iconic brands to raise public awareness about and corporate contributions for the AIDS crisis. Earlier, I quoted our first laureate, Nelson Mandela. I will end with a quote from our most recent laureate, former Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel. When receiving the prize in January 2019, she said this, every contact and friendship forms a link in the chain of international relations. Senator Fulbright firmly believed in such citizen diplomacy. And the idea that it is not only politicians and diplomats who foster peace, but above all, citizens who establish and maintain friendly relations with people in other countries. She might have been describing any Fulbrighter, as well as describing our laureate, Bono. So. <laughs> so, whether you are an old friend or a new friend who has joined us for the first time, we are most appreciative that you chose to share your time and generosity with us this evening. We look forward to your continued support and participation when we announce our next Fulbright Prize Laureate. Thank you, and congratulations to our new laureate, Bono.